Hi guys, so yeah, we have a brand new Mega Drive game to show you. Now this is called Coffee Crisis and it's something that I backed on Kickstarter a little while back. And there's a bit of a palaver with it which I will explain. So uh, firstly I'll just show you the game. Now this is, uh, this is the game Coffee Crisis and it is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. And uh, yeah, first impressions of the cover weren't great i think that the the actual cover looks a little bit poor the pr the printing but i don't know it looks actually all right on camera looking at the little uh, viewfinder there but in person it does look a little bit um a little bit cheap um you can see the back there there's a bit of spiel on the back um which is a bit random so it says not so long ago in a galaxy kind of close to us, an evil race of aliens named the Smurglians have stolen the Earth's Wi-Fi to create their Smurnet. Using their new technology, they've discovered Earth's music and now have their sights set on stealing that as well. It is up to Nick and Ashley, owners of Black Forge Coffee House, to use their six demon blend to put an end to the evil alien plot. So yeah, you play, of, play as one of uh, two characters, Nick and Ashley, who, uh, who own this Black Forge coffee house, um, which, uh, which is kind of the premise of the game. I haven't played this yet. I did see a little bit of gameplay of it before, but I um, haven't played it yet. We're gonna do that fresh on camera with you guys. Um, now this is the limited edition one. It came with a Coffee Crisis mouse map there. And uh, yeah, let's have a look inside. It, lo it looks a little bit better inside, so we've got full colour manual there, like glossy manual. And because this is a limited edition version, we've got um, a blue car. I believe the standard car is red. Um, so yeah, nice translucent blue car there. So the car actually looks really good. Um, you can see inside it's got a PCB that says Mega Cat Studios on there. Um, if you want to buy a copy, I don't know where you can buy them from, um, but I'll leave a link to Mega Cat Studios website in the description, so I'm sure if you can't now, you will at some point be able to buy one on there. So yeah, cart looks quite nice, and um, let's have a look at the manual now. The manual was the kind of little bit of palaver that I mentioned earlier. Now, the tier that I backed on Kickstarter the other admins of Galaxy Sega and I, um, which is uh, a Sega Facebook page if you didn't know, uh, we all chipped in to get an extra a tier where we got a half page ad in the manual. Now it was uh, not the Monday just gone but the one before, uh, Mega Cat Studios contacted me and said right can we have your artwork for the manual and I asked for the dimensions and then pretty much a day or two later they said um, you know all the games have been shipped so I, I was like hang on you've only just asked for our advert we haven't submitted it even if we submit it on the day you can't press um, and staple all those manuals in like two days so it kind of like they never really intended to put them in anyway so yeah they've actually refunded my money for the pledge um, because they they didn't deliver on on the manual however uh, they have put a little page in the back there that says special thanks um, That's got my name on it uh, just down there So I don't know if that page of special thanks was because all those people paid for the ad and didn't get it And so they're on a special thanks page so nice that my name's in the manual under special thanks They have put Peter instead of Pete which is like uh, you know, but never mind and uh yeah, there's a thanks backers page with everybody's names on, my name's in there, and I see a few other people I know in there um, from Galaxy Sega as well. But yeah, nice little uh, manual, a little bit about all the characters in the game and the premise and stuff. Uh, so rather nice. But yeah, um, we should have a little play of the game and see what it's like. We're going to play this on an original Mega Drive Model 1. So uh, let's have a little gander. Okay guys, I'm afraid that my capture card is playing up and I haven't got the time or the patience today to sort it out. So we're gonna do this raw, just filming on the CRT. So obviously uh, it's not ideal filming CRT, so there's probably gonna be some lines across the screen and, and some 
a dodgy picture but we're gonna have to make do I'm afraid so this is the uh, title screen of Coffee Crisis it goes straight into the title screen there's no loading nothing you just turn it on it's straight away into this screen um, in the options we've got what we got easy normal and metal so we'll go on easy you monster you monster and random people shouting you monster uh, weirdly um, so you can be Nick or Ashley uh, looks like Ashley's got a coffee pot as a weapon and Nick's got a bag of coffee beans will be Ashley uh, there's also a two player co-op option there I do quite like the music on the on that screen there uh, so we've got a bit of spiel similar to what's on the back of the box Aliens have come down to the coffee house. Where is your metal? Whoa. Okay, so B is attack. It looks like C is jump. Oh. There is actually a little delay, so like when I press jump now, see she bends her knees first, so there is like a little delay in between pressing and jumping. A doesn't seem to do anything. Um, press B and C together does a little weird move. Um, it is quite slow because same with jumping, she has to kind of swing the coffee pot, so it's not quite instant. So this might prove to be a little bit tricky. Skinny chest knee. So they've kidnapped Skinny Chesney, whoever the fuck that is. Six Demon Blend Coffee is apparently the thing to defeat the aliens. Sensational, hyphenated for no apparent reason. Interesting. Those aren't beans. <laughs> right. See, she did a kick there, but I don't know how she did that kick. I mean, what dictates a kick? Jesus, I mean, it's so slow that you, you can't... I mean, look, I've just lost a life there, and I, there's literally nothing I can do. Like... It's not fast enough, the attacks, to actually prevent you from getting hit. So I don't think I'm going to last very long. I mean, why am I fighting an old man? I, I thought it was aliens. I mean, who's this guy? Yeah, this... The hit detection isn't great on this. I mean... It's... Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit frustrating, actually. I assume that's my health up there at the top, um, top uh, left. Yeah, it's it's okay when you've got like one enemy, but if you've got more than one, you've just got no chance. Oh fuck! Yeah, I mean, it's no Streets of Rage or Final Fight, put it that way, the, the, the hit detection is really shoddy, it's like worse than Golden Axe. And uh, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not sure why I'm whooping an old lady's ass, um, it seems a bit odd. I'm not sure what those coffee beans do, is that health or...
come on. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's best to kind of not get cornered with a few of them and just run around a bit and try to sort of keep a bit of distance because... Oh, here we go. Some more. That seems to be a pretty good tactic if you can do that to sort of jump and hit because then they don't have the time to uh, actually hit you. Oh shit. Yeah, that seemed to work pretty well actually, that little tactic there. Let's get this donut. Very little health here. Okay, that looks like it's the end of that level. So you get a password each time it looks like. So IN5K2 is the um, password for that level. I miss my cow and I love my tractor fishing and guns. Nothing wrong with America. So I don't know if that's a stab at America or not. But um, I don't know what's going on here. Is this like a stadium where he's doing a concert? Oh, okay, these are the bouncers to the stadium, so they want to whoop my ass because I don't have a ticket to the concert. So are these like bosses or what? So this seems to be the best tactic, but it's not fun. It's just sort of, you know, just jumping and whacking them. If I try and actually whack them, yeah, see, I just get, get them up a beating from... Fucking hell, I mean it's insane. Okay. probably going to get call it a day soon guys because uh, you know I just wanted to sort of give you a little flavor of the game and uh, yeah I don't think it's gonna change much sort of gameplay wise maybe I should read the manual maybe I'm missing something with like the different moves if there are any other moves that I'm not aware of but it seems quite restricted um, it's literally just the one attack Oh. 
don't know what that is. Can I smash this? I'm not sure what that music means, if that's like a temporary invincibility or you know some other power up or other. Game over. There you go. I, I could have got further, I think, if I had just employed that jumping and attacking tactic, but it does make it very, very boring. Um, I guess you continue by using the passwords there. I, I would say, guys, that it's probably... <laughs> It's probably only worth picking up if you're like a die-hard Mega Drive collect all fan. It's really poor hit detection and there aren't many moves. Um, so it's just it's just not enjoyable, I'll be honest, I'll be brutally honest, it's just not enjoyable at all. It doesn't feel right. The attacks are too delayed. Um, and, and yeah, you just don't feel like you're actually hitting the people, you just feel like you're kind of whacking the coffee pot in their general direction so there you go uh, it's a shame but you know brutally honest review there um, of the game but yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you very soon cheers